So I got my real estate license beginning of 2021 and the question was, now what? So I decided to keep on my own, didn't want to really join a team. Um, getting into the industry, definitely realized that uh, you know, 60% of a realtor's business is family and friends. If I didn't have that business coming in, how else was I going to find business? And let alone, do I know exactly what I'm doing in this industry and I want to learn and I want to do it right and I want to provide the highest quality for my clients. So looking around, definitely interviewed a few teams and what they were able to offer us has definitely been unmatchable. We have leads that come in, but we also have experienced staff, transaction coordinator, marketing. A lot of these resources are what you need today, and it's kind of hard starting your own business to financially even do it or to know the knowledge of how to get it done. So coming in here and just putting on your thinking cap and be willing to learn has really grown me in my business and shown how real estate really moves. So Team Minix really helped me at figuring out what I want to accomplish and how to get there. And I think from 2021 to ending 2022 about, I've grown tremendously and been super happy. I've made the decisions I've made in joining the team and couldn't be happier with it. Continue to grow my business, keep learning. And the, the crazy thing about real estate is, is once you get going and you start meeting people, then you start meeting people that you've met from those people and it starts growing and it's kind of like a snowball rolling downhill. So once you really get it going in the right way, you can really end up to where you want it to be. Three things I wish I knew as a new agent um, would probably be, one would be financial, how much money it takes to get started and how long you may go without receiving a paycheck, how much money you may have to put into your own business to become successful. Consistency, how much you need to be out there talking with new people and creating that business. That's always consistency and following up. Also, the uh, amount of education that you get, you know, leaving real estate school, you really don't learn a whole lot about actually selling real estate and getting into it and figuring out what it is, a customer service, a sales-based job, and meeting and taking care of people. You know, client always comes first and how you can help that client and achieve their goals and dreams. 